Hello everybody, Colleen here with Chalk Tour. I'm going to be using the uh, typewriter transfer on a chalkboard that I had laying around. So I just wanted to see um, how it would come out. I did a project similar to this on a, a wood piece that I had um, distressed. But I want to see what it will look like actually on a chalkboard. So I'm um, just going to go ahead and do this really quick, simple project because with this transfer, it is very, very easy on and off with your colors. So I'm going to go ahead with mocha, which as you can see, I have stirred to a nice yogurt-like consistency with my little stick. So I have that ready to go. And then I think on the inside of the typewriter, I'm going to use the transfer that came with the typewriter set that says, hello, beautiful, and I'll place that right in here in white. So I'm curious to see how Mocha is going to show up on this board. So there is only one way to find out, and that's just to dive right in. So uh, let's go ahead and get some of the chalk paste on our board. Um, remember that you are going to, it's going to look like I'm putting a lot on, but I'm going to be able to take a lot back off once I um, squeegee it. I'm going to use my large squeegee, which you can purchase on my Chalk Couture store. And this time I'm going to remember that I'm only needing to fill in the spaces where there is um, the silk screen. So last time I goofed and made the mistake of putting it all over the top of my transfer, which I didn't need to do because it's only this little frame up here that I actually need to cover with my chalk paste. So we're just going to go ahead and line that in super quick. And trying to be quick is the name of the game with chalk paste because it will dry and you do not want that to happen because if you take your transfer off and your chalk paste is dry on your transfer, then your Chalk paste is actually going to come right up when you pull up your transfer, and you do not want that to happen. So let's just go ahead and use the large squeegee. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this down to cover my whole silk screen area. I don't need to get on the side where it's blue. That's just part of the transfer. Uh, that's not going to obviously come through onto our chalkboard. I'm going to go ahead and need a little bit more here. So let's get a little more on our board again, trying to work fast so that it doesn't dry, but not a problem if it does. We have a fix for that. We also have a fix if you're sloppy like I am sometimes. I get a little excited and um, get my chalk paste off of my board, but because you can take off your designs with water, if you go off of your board, you can just do the same thing. Just take a little bit of water and uh, on a paper towel and get any excess where you may have gotten a little sloppy, which is perfectly fine. You don't need to worry about being perfect with Chalk Couture by any means. That's the fun of it. It's practice. It's using your imagination. It's trial and error and having fun. That is the most important part. So we're just going to put a little bit more down here. Sorry, I am trying to go quick, but this is a large transfer. So we're just making sure that we cover all of our silk screen. And um, I am using Mocha, which is part of the October special. It's not too late to take advantage of that. You can get six different fall chalk pastes and pay for just the price of five. So you're getting a chalk paste for free, which is an excellent deal. So once I have all of my excess chalk paste off, I hope that this came out because I do see a little bubble down here, but hope, we're gonna hope for the best. You just put your chalk paste right back in to your jar, all your excess, so that you're not having any waste whatsoever. And we're gonna cross our fingers see how this comes out. I do like the mocha on the chalkboard. It looks good. Just going to be careful. I'm trying to make sure this is a bit of a tricky transfer, but it's doable. Just have to take your time, a little patience, so that it doesn't stick to itself. Um, if that happens again, that's not the end of the world. 
Just get it quickly into some water and work slowly to get it unstuck. I'm just going to throw this actually on my floor right now so I can get it into some water, which I'll do in a second. But that looks amazing. Sorry if I made you dizzy. Look how good that came out. Now you can see here I went off my board a little bit and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Again, just take a little paper towel and a little bit of water. And we're just going to clean that right up. Just a little bit of light pressure right on your areas when you where you went off your board. Uh, you can purchase these transfers that we have available. There's many different transfers to choose from. Additionally, the Rocktober special where you can get six chalk paste for the price of five and many, many other different chalk paste colors to create your own fabulous projects. And remember that your transfers can be used between 20 and 30 times, which is amazing um, because you get to use them for all different sorts of projects that you wanna do. You can make gifts for your family with your transfers, um, just make different variations of different projects. You can mix and match your transfer sets, which is also another great thing. Um, because this is dry here in the center, I think I should be fine putting this transfer on here. Um, remember when it's, this is a brand new transfer, I have not used this yet, so on the back I just wrote, you can either write the word back or you can write what the transfer is, it's up to you. Um, I just have learned that I kind of like putting what the transfer is so I know that I'm using the correct carrier sheet to place it back on. So once you are, I'm going to fuzz this up actually because it is brand new. So I literally am just sticking it to my pants so that it gets a little fuzzy. And then that way it doesn't stick as, as much to my board because it is a brand new transfer. And then this way... Um, you don't have to stretch it by trying to pull it off because they are pretty sticky when you first get them. I'm just going to judge this with my eyeballs, so we'll see if this works, hopefully. And I'm just going to make sure that there are no bubbles. I can feel a bubble right in here. It's okay if the bubbles are off of the silk screen, but you need to make sure that there are no bubbles actually on the silk screen because that will uh, mess up how it comes through on the other end. I already stirred my white chalk paste, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right onto my transfer. And to clean your transfers, you literally just have to put it into some water. Let it sit for a few minutes, it just makes it a little easier. The chalk paste pretty much comes off itself in the water, pretty much. And then you, I just put it on a, a dish towel, or you can put it on any kind of towel that you have. And your final step for keeping your transfers in pristine condition is to, the final step is to use a Clorox wipe and just clean off the, your excess chalk. And also, when you use it on the back of your transfer, the sticky side, it brings the sticky side back, which is what you want. So that way you can keep using your transfers again and again. And so if you take care of them, if you're good to them, they'll be good to you and you can get many, many projects out of them. I'm just taking off my excess white, putting it right back into my jar, just making sure that I don't have any lines going across my silk screen because that will show up when you take off your transfer. Here we go. I've covered all my areas that I need it to. I'm just being careful not to touch the mocha that I just laid down because that's probably still just a little bit wet. Oh, I love it. I love it. Simple, fast, and oh so cute. That would look amazing in a family room or a library for all your book lover friends. It's an amazing, amazing project. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much and have a great night. And if you wouldn't mind liking and sharing my video, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll put the link to these products in the comments and also the link to my store where you can shop for these amazing, amazing Chalk Couture products. Thank you. Bye-bye.